Hello, my friends. Welcome back for another Sunday lesson. I'm so glad to see you. And how many of you guys have added to your thankful pumpkin? Did you do it? We've Remember ours was about here and now it's about down to here. So hopefully by next week we'll have the whole thing done. And if you're going, what are you talking about, Miss Jamie? You just missed last week, which was no big deal. But I did tell you about this and gave you a game that has to do with candy on how to do this pumpkin. So if you missed it, just go on over to TVC Kids YouTube. And it's TVC Kids Nashville YouTube. And um, you'll see the whole lesson. And we'll explain this game and how you could get a bowl of candy on your table for the whole month of November. So there you go. Love you guys. We're on lesson number two of thanks and giving. And so I was thinking about what can I teach you guys? How can we learn to be thankful? How can we think? And I was like, let's pull out the word, right? And I'm going to go to a book that's right in the middle. Do you guys remember what that is? Do you remember what book of the Bible is right in the center? You got it. You are right. It's Psalms. All right, so this one, the cool thing about this psalm is right above it, it says, a psalm for giving thanks. So it couldn't be any clearer than that, right? And when I was telling Bella, I said, yeah, I'm going to do Psalm 100. That's the one. And she's like, oh, I remember that. And she started rattling it off last night. And I thought, when? And she goes like, remember, Mom, you taught us, and you had us memorize that psalm. And they did. And so the cool thing is, Bella was about seven when she memorized that psalm. And now she's 27 and she still has it in her mind, in her heart. So maybe this is a good psalm for your family to learn. What do you think? Do you think you could do it? I know you can. So take a look at this one, moms and dads. Maybe you guys, your whole family could memorize it. I'm going to read it to you, see what you think. Here we go. It says, shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth, all the earth, everyone. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. So all those things we've been talking about, right? Worshiping brings you close to the Lord, having joy, and it's for all the earth. Acknowledge that the Lord is God, right? We know that. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. I, I love the sheep of his pasture, the place where he's going to hold us tight, right? When he says we are his, I just feel like hug, hug, that's, that's what he's saying. We're his. Don't you want to just feel like that great hug from God? We are his. All right. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Right? Give thanks to him and praise his name. Life's going to be good if we keep doing this, right? For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues. Do you know how long? Forever. And his faithfulness continues to each generation. So my generation, then to your generation, right? And to your kids' generations, God will always be thankful. So I love the beginning of this one. It says, shout to the, with joy to the Lord, all the earth. All right. So not just people who live in Nashville, not just people who um, live. Let me see. I'm going to find a place. Ready? Not just people who live in... Ireland, not just people that live in, oh, that's uh, Kansas, not just people that live in, let's find, oh, Mexico, let's find another place, go, <gasps> Turkey, <gasps> China, all right, he's saying all the earth, every single place, he wants people to shout for joy, he wants them to come together and worship him, right, so that's what we need to do, and I am so thankful that we can worship and join together with people from all around this world. Can we do that? I know we can. All right. It is because of Christ that we can come together. Because of Jesus, we could come together with all these people. So let me show you a little idea I had. All right. So here's our people. Here's us in Nashville. Here's somebody in Mexico. Here's our friends down in Florida. Here's some friends in, oh, Brazil. Let's add Brazil. What about, let me see, Thailand and China. What about, just not that far away, Alaska. All of us come together. The whole world comes together and worships God and gives thanks to him. And I'm so thankful that all of us could come together. And why is it? It's because of Christ. So I was looking at my little um, Christmas, nope, not Christmas, Thanksgiving ornaments. <laughs> 
Have, can you guys tell I've been thinking about Christmas already? Keep a watch, we're almost there. But my Thanksgiving things, and I found all this corn, and you know, Mr. Chris loves this corn, and I'll tell you a little secret, he's colorblind, so I don't even know which colors he sees on this, but you know what he does see? He sees all the different colors. He sees some that are bright yellow, and some that are purple, and some that are red, and then you pull another one. Oh, there's more, a different kind of purple. Ooh, and there's a green. All the different colors in this corn, but it's still one piece of corn, right? All the different people in the world, but we're all still God's children. All of us coming together to worship. I am so thankful for that. And you know what else is cool? Are we all the same? Nope, just like the corn, we're different, right? Do we all have the same gifts? Nope. Do we all have the same talents? No. Do we all look the same? No. We're all different, but we can all be together as one thanks to God. Because of Christ, we could all be in unity. And I love that. So we've been talking about thanks and giving, right? And so I was thinking about different gifts that people would have. And um, there's a place, you know, the whole church this month is talking about thankfulness. And there's a couple of missions organizations that we are supporting. And one of them is called Legacy Mission Village. All right. Now, some of you might already know all about it. I learned about it several years ago when Isaiah did a fundraiser and he took a whole bunch of children's books to them. And when he went, he got to read books to kids. Are you ready? From 33 different countries. All right. Have you ever been in a room with people from 33 different countries? I haven't either. All right, but I'm so thankful that we can know all these people. And Legacy Mission Village, it helps people who have come from other countries because they're refugees. There's people who had to leave their countries because maybe it wasn't safe for them or it wasn't a good place for them to be. So they came here and it helps so much. It helps them learn languages, learn English, learn, um, do their studies and help with kids. They help with job placement, all kinds of things, basically whatever the people need when they come, right? They're there to serve and love. So I'm so grateful for that. And if you look on our missions program, there's, we're gonna be giving hats and coats and scarves and all kinds of wonderful things to those kids that need things for this winter because it's gonna get chilly soon. It is. And so I just wanted to let you guys know that there's people from all around our world that are the same because of Christ, but very different in gifts. I was thinking about what would be a a gift that I would love to have and I can't really do it. And so, you know, I always use seeds for something, right? So here's my seeds, right? So I grew this geranium from a seed. It wasn't hard for me because guess where I live? Nashville, right? Geraniums grow great in Nashville. And to be honest with you, it was the first year I ever grew them. So I learned that the geraniums grow really well in Nashville. But what are these? Do you guys know what these are? things your mom uses every morning and your dad has every morning and they're so grateful for them, they're coffee beans. Guess what? As much as I love to garden and I would love to grow coffee trees, guess what? I can't. Because God didn't put me in a place like, we have friends who have a coffee plantation in India. And then when Miss Cora goes on all our missions trips to Guatemala, she always brings me back coffee. We have friends in Guatemala who grow coffee. And then we have friends in Honduras that go every year and they bring back coffee. So in India and Guatemala and Honduras, those people have been put in a place where they can grow coffee. Do they succeed? Yes, they do because they're blooming where God planted them, right? And I'm so very thankful for them. But I'm in Nashville, so what can I grow? flowers, geraniums, all right? So what I wanted you guys to see was people from all around the world have so many different gifts, have different talents, have um, ways, different things they can do, different things they could do because of God, right? He puts all these things together, but yet we are all one in Christ. Does that make sense? Do you guys know some people from around the world? Do you know some um, people who've moved to even Nashville? Do you know we have a lot of people who've moved from different places in the world in Nashville? It's a wonderful place because of that. So I hope you guys will look into that a little bit more. See what it is that makes people different. Celebrate their gifts. I'm so thankful that my friends in India grow great, great coffee. I'm so thankful that there's people all around our world who have different gifts and talents and can do different things because of God. 
What do you think? Are you thankful for that too? I'm gonna add my coffee growers to my pumpkin this week because I am so grateful people could do that. All right, guys, I have a couple more things for you. So you're gonna bloom where you're planted. It's right here. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it may be somewhere all around the world. Think about what God is giving you to do. All right, and bloom there. Can you do it? I know you can. All right, I have one more Bible verse for you because um, I heard Pastor Jim read this last week or, and I just loved it. And let me see, it says, and now it's from Colossians. That's what we're studying. It's Colossians 2, 6. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord. Have you done that? Have you asked Jesus to be your Lord? Have you asked him to be in your heart? Have you thanked him? Have you thanked him for his sacrifice for you? All right, just as you've accepted Jesus, you must continue to follow him. That's what he asked us to do, right? We accept him, we're thankful, and we follow him. Let your roots grow down deep and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow in truth, just like you were taught, right? We're here to teach you all the time. I love that I get to teach you about God's word. It is my biggest privilege in life is to be able to teach my sweet friends that God loves you so much. So I'm so grateful to be able to teach you about the word. And it says, then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. All right, guys, overflow with thankfulness this week. Can you do it? I know you can. Look outside our world, be thankful for people and places and things that are outside just even your house, all right?